Yep. Okay. When you log in, if you don't have this pop up, call me. Where, where well, pop first, 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 the first the first thing you do is you enable pop ups. Mm -hmm. You do allow pop ups. We use lots of them. Okay? Okay. Do you see this pop up here that says pharmacy interface? Yeah. Okay. So what that says is that Jericom has sent you prescriptions. And here they are. Let's see, here they are, right there. So uh, it, for t location 2527, that's the only ones I asked for, I got Catherine, Michael, and Richard. I didn't get the fourth individual. He doesn't get meds from Jaritown. Oh, well, that explains everything. Yeah, I did call in all uh, the other house's information, though, too, okay. so the blip. I didn't ask for them to start those. You, I didn't want to do that until you're ready. Well, you can, yeah, so, they, they can do that part at any time. It's going to take us a while. Okay. Well, then let's not do, let's not do those houses until we get this house done. It's just, it's going to make extra work for us. Okay. 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 Okay? Mm -hmm. So, this pop-up is going to show up. Wait a minute. This pop-up is going to show up. All right. If you select my client name, you will restrict this list to just that client. Interface, yeah. Okay, so for Richard, we want to import these medications have been delivered by the pharmacy. There's 13 of them. For us to put them on his file so that staff can chart, this is what you do. Number one, get his paper mark because you want to confirm that everything matches. Yep, I just Number two, select the medications, you select them one at a time. Mm -hmm. The way you select them is you check this box, that select box. Mm -hmm. Okay, it's going to take you to his master record. You can see that the computer typed all of this information in. See that? Mm -hmm. um, <clears throat> why does he take the trazodone? Uh, for sleep. <clears throat> for sleep. For sleep. Okay, and he takes it at hour of sleep, therefore your hour of sleep is, I think we said 9 p.m.? 8. 8. 8 p.m.? I'll remember that, ha, ha, ha. It says 8, 8, 8, 8 p.m. I know, I know, I'm trying. Mm -hmm. All right, 8. P.m. And I'm going to insert the record. That will make it drop off that list. So you can go back to it. And I should have stayed here with Richard. And select the next one. So now it's the Tam Solosan. So I'm gonna select it. I can see the instructions. It filled it in. Why does he take that? Uh, prostate. For PPI, yeah. 
and he takes it at 8 p.m. and the pharmacy put that in for you. Mm -hmm. Okay. You insert it. Right. Oops. And let's see, other, I'm going to change that to QPM or QHF. And APM. So on this screen, basically, the med is on there, it's the generic. You need to put in the reason given, and you do need the to time. You do need to choose well, the time. Well, we'll see. Sometimes the pharmacy sends it and sometimes they don't. Okay. Okay, so next, we're going to go back to our list. We're working on... I should have started with Catherine. <laughs> of course, I started with the last one. Okay, so now here's this quiet tapine. Mm -hmm. Why does he take it? Schizophrenia. I don't know how to spell that. P -A C, no, C S C H I Z. There's no T in there. That's right. Oh, That's right. Oh, pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Yeah. Okay. So this one is Q H S again. Uh huh. And they can end with the eight o'clock. So right now our Mars just say H S and staff know when to give it. Do we need to put a specific okay. time in there? You do, if you do not, you do need to put in a specific time. One. Two, if you do not want to show the time on the med page, you can check here and it won't show the 8 p.m. Okay. It's up to you. We'll talk about it. Okay. Okay. I'm going to insert the record. Sure. You, I think you can see that this is pretty straightforward. Yeah, so when you, you go, when you click insert the record, then it takes it off that list. Does it take you back automatically to it, that pharmacy no, page? No, you you just go, it does not. But you okay. the pharmacy interface is going to be sitting there. You just go pick that chiclet up. And I would recommend you starting with Catherine because it'll, it'll just, you won't have to do this little step that I'm doing here. Going to Richard. Okay. Because I started with the last one. Okay. Okay. So, make sense here? Yep. Okay. Um, and if he had something that he didn't take every day. Yeah, like the PRNs. But he doesn't. Yeah. Well, the PRNs are super simple here. I'm going to select the PRN, and that's for gastrointestinal distress. Mm hmm. I'll just copy that. And I just have to insert it because it's PRN. Now we can, we're gonna talk about standing orders on our next meeting, how to get those in, because there's a real quick way to get them in. So a lot okay. of the, yeah, a lot of the PRNs that are gonna show up in the list are Things that were on the standing order list that you know maybe they didn't use, and then eight months something happened, they needed it, and then we got it ordered and it showed up on the MAR. And they might not use okay. it again for another eight months, you know. So well, when you're in, when you're importing these, you may want to not import the PRNs right now until we do standing orders. Then it'll okay. save you some work. Okay. Okay. Because mm -hmm. otherwise they're going to go in as PRNs, okay. and we would rather have them be SOs. Are you going to show us how to take things off, too? Like a DC? Sure. Okay. Sure. So, um, if I wanted to DC something, mm -hmm. let's say I want to DC um, this. I'm not going to do it, but I'm just going to show you how. All right, if I wanted to DC this quiet to pin, blah, blah, blah. Mm -hmm. All I see this little button yep. here that yep. says DC, yep. you click it. Okay. If you DC it, it's going to be DC at the date and the time you clicked DC. Okay. Okay. You have to put in a note. Okay. <laughs> if you want to DC it, if, if you want to DC it like yesterday because nobody told you mm -hmm. because you needed to DC it, mm -hmm. you, see, you need to edit, you need to fix this end time. Okay. All right. And, or change it here. You can do that yourself though. Yes, you can do that. So once that's been entered, like
like I'm sh I just showed you here, uh -huh. if I go to medication administration charting for Richard, mm -hmm. I'm going to see that these things are ready to be charted today. Okay. Does, does this make sense to you? Yeah. So that's it's a list of both medication and um, right any services that the home health aides are supposed to be charting on the caregiver. That's right, okay. medical services. So if they're okay. supposed to check, and I'm gonna that's the next thing I'm gonna do. But before I do that, do you have questions on importing medication? I don't think so, but I think you know once we start doing it, if I may, I you, you know, I mean, I I can always yeah. give you a call too, right? Yes, yeah, please okay. do. Don't get frustrated. Um, my advice, though, would be start with Catherine. It's going to go quicker. Mm -hmm. My other advice is is if it's not really a PRN, if it's a standing order. Mm -hmm. Don't put it in. Um, don't put it in. For now, and it's just let it hang. Let, it'll hang out here until you put it in. Or if you wanted to, you could say, I want to discard this. I'm not going to do it. I want to discard this record, so you check discard, mm -hmm. and then you click update, or you click discard, sorry. And that will just drop it off the list. Okay. If you know it's going to be, a, if you know it's going to go on standing orders, you could just as well do that. So that's, My, that's different than discontinuing something, though, discarding. You are correct. Discard means I don't want to import it from the pharmacy. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> discontinue means it's on somebody's medication list and I want to discontinue giving it. Okay. And that little place where you um, have to put a note in on the discontinuation above the date? Yeah. Is that just yeah. like a little narrative note then or why it was DC? Yeah, why did you get rid of it? Okay. So in six months okay. you go, oh, that's why. Yeah, okay. 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 That's that. Next, we're going to talk about medical services, which is going to take us into the care plan. So you sent me those two documents, and I started putting in putting them in a little bit, but I wanted to confirm with you that you liked the way I was doing it, one. And two, you'd be able to do it yourself, because I'm not going to do them all for you. <laughs> so um, you wouldn't want me to. So first of all, um, I'm going to go to Richard, and I'm going to show you, based on in the information you sent, I started putting in items that will go to his plan of care. For me to read a plan of care, all I have to do is click read plan of care. And it's going to keep track of the last revision that each person read. So here's for Richard. Richard, I don't. His diet is normal. Um, you had a resident area where you wanted it to include his medical diagnosis, specialty equipment, susceptibility factors, code status, advanced directions. So if you enter that information, it's going to show here. Okay. Mm -hmm. The next thing is his grooming. So that's going to be, I, I, enter, I selected, a, I created and selected a bathing shower, and you're going to enter in that information. Okay. Meals. So and for meals, staff is going to assist preparing, and they're going to monitor his food intake. Housekeeping, they're going to do it every shift. They're going to monitor his bowel movement once per shift. They're going to record his instructions, and you'll you'll make that specific to the client. Mm -hmm. Does this make sense? Yeah. Can you? I just a quick question, Mary. Can you print any of these things off? Yes, you can print this, and there's a signature for it. Because I well, I was thinking and since like this one that you put in, it would just be like helpful to have it as a template. Sure. Um, for oh, just wait. You're gonna just wait. You're gonna have lots more. I'm gonna. Shoot. So the way you're gonna print it is okay. you're gonna come here and you're gonna click print. That's pretty easy. Yeah. And what you're gonna do when it's real is you're gonna create or revise a plan of care. You're gonna give it a date and a time that says this is the plan of care as of this date and time. Mm -hmm. You can send an alert out to staff 
that they need to review it. And you can produce a list of everybody who has read it. Oh, that's good. And the system is going to keep track for each person at the last revision that they've read. Okay. Also, if you wish, for certain people, you might have a different rate, a daily rate that you would charge for somebody who is continent versus incontinent, somebody who has to have be fed versus somebody who is independently eating or just has to have their plate arranged. You can have different rates on each of those items. Okay. And they can show on the plan of care to certain people. So if you have a rate, I think it shows, I don't, it shows up over here somewhere. Okay. Okay. Now I'm gonna show you how I did this. Okay? Yep. So hang on to your hat, <laughs> okay? This is a little, it's a little complicated, but once you get it set up, it makes um, adding new clients and keeping everything organized pretty good. So I'm gonna go task directory, administrative. And you're going to basically build pro forma or just forms for both your um, ADLs and your housekeeping tasks and your medical services. So when you build all of these things, that's what is selected. So you're gonna select some of these items like you don't have to do, maybe you don't shave a woman. So she wouldn't end up with this on her care plan, but a man would, for example. Somebody that doesn't have a hearing aid isn't gonna end up with hearing aid on their care plan. But this is your master list. This has got everything that you could possibly offer on it. So I built, I just did a start and I did dressing, grooming, toileting and mobility. I don't know if I did it right. So you do but, it but I gave it a, I gave it a, my best shot. Can you just do okay, it for it, Can you just do for one example? Can yeah I'm gonna show you the example. Okay. So anyway I started this out. So then <clears throat> that's in company. That's when you're gonna have everything there. Now I'm going to go task directory, mm -hmm. find information and program or I could have clicked home. <clears throat> I'm waiting, come on, oh there, it helps if you click home. Mm -hmm. the there we are. And I click the client's picture. Gets me to the same spot. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna click on his client library. The way, and then I built these few items for Mr. Wessel. The way I did that is I clicked add new from library. Where, where was that? Add okay. new. At the bottom. I'll do it again. Then I selected the items that are, that are, that fit him. Oh, add new from library, okay. Okay. Like, does he have a walker or a cane? Yes, mm -hmm. both. Which one? Both? Both was and, and the electric, the same electric. Mm -hmm. Richard? Oh no, just the walker, yeah. Walker and cane. Yeah, he has a walker and a cane. So for mm -hmm. me to get walker and cane onto his, into his library, all I have to do is select them and approve them. Oh, so it makes building your clients much easier. Then, if there's specific, and I don't want to do that because, yeah, because you're probably going to want to take that company library and add a lot more information because my information was follow instructions because <laughs> I didn't know what your instructions would be. Sure. So you're going to want to put the detailed instructions on there and then they're going to get to the client and then you can customize them for the client if need be. But I did these few so you could see how it works. So, for example, that you saw that bathing and shower that got here, and you saw those two meal ones, and that my housekeeping, right? Mm -hmm. So, the next thing 
I do is I schedule those items. When should staff chart on them? So I schedule that the bathing in the shower should be done. I said, I'm just gonna reschedule this one to show you how I did it. I said bathing should be done every other day and as needed, so that's a both. Bathing shower, I want them to chart by noon starting with the 12th, which was Tuesday. So every Tuesday. I don't know if he takes his showers on Tuesdays, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday, but I just guessed. Does this make sense to you? Mm -hmm. So once that's done, it's set, and then what staff is gonna see is when they do scheduled direct care, which is this option here, the way they're going to get to it, don't freak out, I'm going to help you get all the way through your first client. The way they're going to get to it is either they're going to say, I want to chart on Richard, and they're going to see, okay, by 3 o'clock I need to indicate, let's see, I guess I've been in here. I didn't do breakfast, You're going too much fast, I think. But, so they're going to assist with food. I scheduled that for 3 a.m. I guess I need to fix that. Um, they're going to do light housekeeping. They're going to uh, provide assistance for breakfast by 9 a.m. They're going to uh, monitor his food intake. They're going to do light housekeeping at the end of their shift. There's lunch. Does this make sense to you? Is it um, relatively easy to go back in and change like the details to add or delete? Oh. Yes, and that's what I'm going to show you next. But I just wanted to kind of walk you through this. Do you see how this gets here, though? I think so. How? Okay. Um, I think you're going to try to go through it again. Okay. So let's look at this one. I have this. Um, how much? Monitor food and beverage intake. Well, I scheduled it for 3 a.m. Who's going to be eating at 3 a.m.? So let's fix that, and let's look at our monitor food and beverage intake service, okay? What right now I have for staff to see is assistance provided per instruction, and I just have instructions that says monitor intake and record on flow sheet each shift, because that's what I saw on that charting page that you sent me. If staff was going to chart on this, they would select it. They would use this drop down that they did it, or he refused, or they didn't do it. And why wasn't it done? And they're going to add a note. We're going to keep track of who charted and when they charted. I just want you to see that that's what the charting looks like. So to chart, it's very simple. Complete. Um. Complete. Complete. What's the measure area? If you wanted to measure the number of prompts, if you wanted to record the number of calories, if you wanted to record the number of ounces. So it's a type in box, you could just... Anything you want, and you can require it if you wish. Okay, and how do you know in which staff um, was responsible? When they save it, we're going to see their initials, and we will have a report that will have their name okay. on it. Okay. Okay? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm gonna, now I'm going to show you how we're going to, this is how I got it in. This is really quick how staff is going to, if they click save, it would, I don't want to click save. <clears throat> so I'm going to click his picture. I'm going to click his client library. And I'm going to look at that meals one, assist with prep, or, or monitor food and beverage intake and assist with meals. I'm going to edit the assist with meals. Okay. So, and we should edit this in the company library first, okay? Because that's what's going to get copied onto all your other clients. Anything I do for this client only affects this client. So are you so, in the, are you in aren't you in the client library the, right now? I am. I am, but I'm warning you that when you make general changes, 
we want to go to the company libraries, but let's fix him first so we can look at the effect. So, what the program is going to be meals, assist with preparation of three meals and two snacks. All right, and the instructions to direct care is breakfast, lunch, dinner, and a snack at 2 p.m. and a snack at, I mean, do you have your snacks at 8 p.m. roughly? I, again, I just made this up. You said at 1 p.m. was that? I'm 2 p.m. Just say 8, 8 p.m. Whatever you want it to be. Oh, okay, you can change it. It says 1 to 2. Yeah, you can give it snack. Yeah, I understand the two. Snack 1 to 2. I just had snack 1 and then. Oh, I see. That was snack 1. Okay, never mind. Yeah. I thought you were saying 1 okay. to 2. No, they're probably not having a snack at 1 at day lunch at, two, at 12. Okay. So do they have an afternoon snack? 4 o'clock, maybe. 4 p.m. 4 o'clock, yeah. And then evening snack is at 8? Approximately. And a lot of stuff is just, oh, they just help themselves whenever they want. It's not really scheduled. Okay. So maybe I don't even put this on here. I don't know. I just put something on. Okay. So you can see that there's, you can write a book about this. Okay? So when I make this change, it's going to, sh and I'm going to save this, I'm going to show you that it's going to change what staff sees for him, okay? So if he had a low carb meal, or if he was being calorie restricted, or you're trying to get him to eat more, you can, you can make those notes here so staff sees that. Okay, then, this, then there was in blue, you saw that it said assistance provided per instructions. It doesn't have to say that. It <laughs> could say, um, uh, what it could say, helped to prepare, assisted with preparation. Uh, meals and snacks, okay? Could just as easily have said that. And then, so I made a ta this, that task is where staff is going to chart. And then, that drop down that you saw where it said completed, refused, or not applicable, I built those. And I said that completed is a good, refused is a negative, and not applicable means we didn't offer it. So for each okay. task, we have to go in and do that? that. No, nope, for each client. Okay. And you're going to do this once in the company library, and you'll be able to copy this onto each client. And then the only change you'll have to make to the client is if you're going to change the instructions unique to them. Make sense? Yeah. Where did you... And then... You were talking the hard about part is you got to schedule it. Okay, you were talking about changing the time that was down at three a.m. Did you? Didn't you didn't. Okay, that? I didn't do that. I haven't. I'm not there yet. Okay. So okay. before I get before I get there though, I want to show you this schedule direct care. So I made that change to Richard. We're going to do the time next. So assistance. Let's see, meals assist. So here it says now assisted in the preparation of meals and snacks. Mm -hmm. And there's all my fiddling around there, evening snack, afternoon snack, okay? Mm -hmm. Now, I, I only use one of those fields. There's one, if you see a little pop-up that's coming and going, methods, physical, mm -hmm. equipment, preferred, base, mm -hmm. you can change those column headings and you can have additional information display to staff there when they hover over the first line. Mm -hmm. And all of that goes to the plan of care. I'll let you digest that. Yeah. Okay? Now I'm gonna reschedule this charting, this 3 a.m. business. So I'm gonna click them in the, click them on the forehead I am going to click this one right here, Schedule Direct Care. And I did something crazy, 3 a.m., where was that? 
needed something that I don't want. 3 a.m. for light, well, light housekeeping makes sense. There it is. Nope, that's not it. That's not it. Right here. Monitor food and beverage intake. Well, it can't be 3 a.m. Oh, I know why I did that. I did that at the end of the shift. And there was method to my madness. When do your shifts end? Uh, three. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She wants to know what the shift times ending are. It's just uh, three. Five. 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 Uh, 11. But not always. Like, she's working all day. So, sometimes the shifts are different on the weekend. So, how do you... They're not always going to be standard the same time. Okay. All right. So, we can say... But, like, she's working all day. Monday, Tuesday... So, we can say... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, we want this charting done by this time. Okay. Saturday and Sunday, we want charting done by okay. that time. Yeah, they just clarified to me, Mary, that when it's different, it's because people are working double shifts. Yeah. Okay. So it's let's make it easy, though. Let's nine. just go 5 p.m. Yeah. 11 <coughs> p.m. And when else would you like them to, to uh, monitor food and beverage? That's the right time, 11 p.m. That's what the new Shamsu one. comes at 11.30 a.m. That's a good that time. No. I think no, this is no. We have eight a.m. Eight a.m. Yep. Okay. You can change it. Mm -hmm. No, it's, we're not locking this in forever. Mm -hmm. So now, so now we'll see that that monitoring beverage, monitor be beverage and food intake for our friend here, Mr. Wessel has been reorganized, so light housekeeping is the only thing we want them to chart at 3 a.m. right now. You can change those times, okay? That's not 3 a.m. You get it? Does this make sense to you, what I, I'm doing? Why is it 3 I get it, but, you know, like, why does the charting have to be so scheduled? Because sometimes, you know, they're doing it before the end of the shift, oh. but, it, you know, it might they be... Can, this is the kind of... We, so the reason we do this is because if charting is not done mm -hmm. by this time, mm -hmm. somebody's going to get notified. They can chart early, mm -hmm. and we keep track of when they chart it. Okay, but they can't chart late? They can chart late. That's good. Let's let them get it. Then there's all kinds of reasons for charting late. Maybe they had somebody on the toilet, or right, maybe... Right, right, right. Yeah. So, so, okay. so they could, just, can you just change the one for 3, 3 a.m.? Yeah. We can change it. I, I, we don't need to. I just want you to understand right. the yeah. concept. So, is there consequences though if it says three a.m. and they don't charge till like right before they leave, um, a couple hours? No. Okay. No. No. And the state when they look at, when they go in there, they well, they what I've heard is is they like to see everything charted within an hour, but they're not going to give you a fine. Mm -hmm. That's what I've heard anyway. Mm -hmm. If the shift is going to be, um, yeah. if you're leaving yeah. 5 o'clock, yeah. you'll be chatting for 4 or 5. Right. But they do like an hour. Mm -hmm. yeah. Well, we can go ahead and change those times. Right? Yeah, that, I just need you to understand the concept here. Because mm -hmm. believe me, I know I didn't get all this right. I just gave it my best shot. Oh, yeah, no, see. that's good. Okay. So let's go, I'm going to go through it one more time. So what you're going to want to do, task directory, mm -hmm. administrative. Mm -hmm. And I suggest, Fine. well, actually, I suggest we get Richard perfect. And by the way, we can take his, his programs that we do here and copy them up into your company library, which is a good thing. But... So this is what I did. So you have those topics, dressing, grooming, toileting, mobility, meals, medications. Remember those? Yeah. So I set those up as our topics, all right? Mm -hmm. Then what I did is I kind of, I looked at Richard's plan 
and your those the deep the breakouts that you had and I made a, a program up for each one of those and I kind of made up some of my own like I did toileting continent <coughs> needed toileting no assistance required toileting incontinent you might have you know different instructions for somebody based on those things mobility no assistance required transfers no assistance required wheelchair walker cane side rails you can have as many of these as you wish and each one of those can have different instructions so these are just so I, these are just topics they're not fine yet you're these, just saying these are the topics available these are not signed and these are not even on a client yet right right this is your master so if somebody has side rails somebody might have side rails you're going to put some instructions on here on how to when you're going to clean them or what you know whatever you want to have here also if somebody has side rails and you don't need staff to chart on it you just need it for the care plan you see right here where it says exclude service from progress reports mm -hmm. if you check that it doesn't you don't have to schedule it it just goes to that care plan okay. so the items that need to be scheduled are the items that are going to be on that the ones that you have on the checklist right now that you have staff signing the other items that are just care plan only items you know just check this off okay and this would be a typical one that you would just have that information in this in the system because staff isn't going to check that you know chart on those those side rails all the time okay so you're going to build this and it's going to be long you're going to have all kinds of options here when you have a new client join you you're going to set them up you're going to go to client information and program you're going to select that new client and i'm just going to select joel because he doesn't have anything yet okay i'm going to go to client library and i don't want to finish this because i don't want you to have to make a bunch of fixes you're going to have to click add new from library and you're going to go through here and you're going to pick everything that he needs click 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 and then you're going to click approve and it's going to build his client library just like we have for richard i the one i started for richard okay once that's done, then the hard part is that you have to schedule those items how often you want them charted and when. And after that, you're done because it, it has built the plan of care and it has built the charting page for staff to chart on. I'll let you digest that. Questions, comments? I need to know where the nurse documentation is done. It doesn't relate to the home health aid okay. and what they're addressing on the care plan. Got it. Okay, so so let's go now to our what we call medical services, okay? So I'm going to go to that medication administration page. And I built bowel movement tracking to be done once per shift. I can change the time. I built vitals. I built weight and height. We can build anything that we want, asking any questions that you want, and scheduling it to be charted on at any point. So that's that's the home health aides would chart on, not the nurse. Okay. Okay. What would you like to have the nurse chart on? So does it have to be topic related? It can be anything. Just. I just need an example. I mean, usually I'm making a note after a physician follow-up uh, note after there's been order changes or if okay. there's a new problem, I talk to somebody and there's a new problem, but it's, you know, okay. it's not okay. something that's going to be on the care plan, generally. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, you. we I'm just, it's, so it's like, usually it's like a, a nurse progress note 
that I just, yep. just do a narrative on right now? I'm with you. Okay. I get it. Okay. I'm going, I'm on my way. So, I'm going to go to Richard. You see where it says progress note here? Mm-hmm. I'm going to click it. When you log in, you're going to, it's going to have nursing note checked for you. Oh, because it recognizes you? Right. Okay. And you could add it, you could make it a general note too, but the nursing note's going to be checked for you. Okay. You're going to be able to write this note, anything you want, you can write a book, uh-huh. you can save it, uh-huh. you can add follow-up notes. Follow-up just for my purposes, so I know what needs follow-up, yep. not necessarily yep. something that's going to go to staff. No, okay. well, staff can see it. If, if you give them access to this, they'll be able to see those notes. Okay. But you could restrict them, but I, I don't see why you would, because they might need to see something. No, that's fine. And it doesn't have to be no. in any, it's not, it's not in a particular format, it could just be like, uh, I mean, it doesn't it's have to be like... a narrative like, note. Yeah, okay, okay. Okay, it's a narrative note. We can for, if you have a formal questionnaire that you want to have filled out periodically, we can build that. That's where kind of I was going when we started this. Okay. The other thing I want to tell you about these notes, and I think I turned it on, is that when staff gives a PRN and adds a follow-up note, mm-hmm. The system's automatically going to create a nursing note. So you have that all here in front of you. You don't have to go to places to look for it. So they give a PRN and then it populates a nursing note and I need to write a nursing note for every PRN they no, give? You, no. You don't need to. They're gonna they're gonna it's gonna it's just gonna create a nursing note that says this PRN was given at this time. Uh-huh. And if they add a follow up note it's gonna show what their follow up note was like effective. Okay. And then at that point, you could add additional follow-up notes here. Okay. It will also, the system will also create a nursing note for completed appointments. So that way you end up with all your PRNs in one spot and all your, all your follow-up notes in one spot and all of your appointments in one spot. Okay. Which is kind of handy. I'm told. I'm not a nurse, but the nurses, this was, the nurses said, this, we want this. It makes our life easier. Okay. So. Okay. Does that answer your question? I'm sorry. No, just, uh, uh, if you go back to the Kevran, I say, can we just build one client for Kevran with you? Yeah, that's what I started to do for Mr. Wessel. Yeah, can we do just uh, one, for example, one, Catherine? For one for Catherine? Yeah. Okay, well, you'll have to tell me. And now here's the problem with it. Well, no, it's not. I'll do it this way. All right. So I don't want you to have to do this twice. Mm-hmm. So, what is. So, does she require. We're going to look uh, at. We're going to take the yeah. We're going to take the chest on. One minute. <laughs> the mop. Tell me when you're ready. Okay. You want her? The mop? Yeah. What? You want the mop? What? Yeah. Who are we doing? Catherine. It doesn't matter. Mm-hmm. It doesn't matter. I, okay, I, what? I, I, have I only want to talk about dressing right now. What dressing assistance does she require? No, independent for dressing. She has no dressing requirement? Yep. Zero. 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 I, I have one question. Okay. Mm-hmm. All right, what's the, does she have any grooming requirement? No. Okay. Does she have any toileting requirement? No. Mobility requirements. No. <laughs> you guys, how about meals? Yeah. Well, she's okay. getting she's getting meals. Well, still she have meals. Yes. Okay. Just now, just let's let's pause here. So I've got one. I've got meals. She's get. You're saying she's getting meals delivered. Meaning that you are preparing those meals and delivering them to her. 
Yeah, I'll show you how we prepare the meal. Okay, okay, that's good. So I'm going, first of all, before we copy this onto her master record, mm -hmm. I have a document, I have a program here called Meals Assist in Preparation of Three Meals and Two Snacks. Yeah. Do you like those words? Yeah, it's okay. Do you like assist with meal preparation and serving? Uh, can you just uh, do for breakfast at 8 p.m.? But they take the medication. 8 a.m., sure. So, they can have the so now we're going to change that to 8 in the company library. Not at noon. Yeah, good. How? That's the meter. Dinner at 6. And does she have two snacks? Stephanie, this has to be. Or do we want that off? Ah, uh, it's okay. 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. 2 p.m. and 8 p.m. Is that good? Yep. Why don't we call this an afternoon snack? Okay. I think that'll look better. And an evening snack. Okay, so that's what it's going to say in your company library. Is there anything else that we want to tell staff or have included on somebody's care plan about this? Okay. Anything else? No, for me. So we're good? Yes. Yeah. Now, when staff charts on this, do we want them to say assisted with meal prep? And I think that's going to be nicer, Bobby. Assisted. Assisted with meal preparation and serving. I, I like that better. It looks more professional. And I'm going to update this. Okay. What's the next thing? Let's see. So meals. Do we monitor what she eats? No. Do we provide anything else in the area of meals? No. We the okay. Do we do lighthouse? Do we monitor? So we don't do anything there. Do we monitor or do we do light housekeeping? Yeah. For her. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to edit this one. And when we say light housekeeping, what are the instructions to direct care staff? It's okay if you shift the do, they, do they mop the floor? Do they dust? What should they be doing? Yeah, if I could mop in. Yeah, cleaning for the bathroom. Vacuum floors. Clean bathroom, not clean. Clean bathroom, what else? Take trash out, Justin. Do you do the round of all these guys? What else? Mm -hmm. Clean the kitchen. Clean kitchen? Yep. What else? Dishwashing. Here's my point. We want to fill this all in. I'm going to say neat. Or tidy up. That's a better word. Everybody knows tidy up. Not everybody. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Does this make sense? Yeah. Okay. Then I I did start putting some items here, but I'm just gonna say um, provided light housekeeping. 
services. Okay? I'm going to save it. And I'm going to update this. All right. Okay, what's next for her? Medication. Okay. So, I did not add a medication. Let's go here. Dressing, grooming, toileting, mobility, meals. Medications is our next one. Now, here's here's a smart here's the smart way to do this. I'm going to make a copy of one of these that I have mm -hmm. because it's a shortcut. It's a shortcut way of doing it. I made a copy. I am going to change this from meals to be medication. All right. Do we have to have staff chart that they provided medication services? Because they're going to chart in the system whether they gave it or not. Do we need to say that they did it yes. here too? Well, wait a minute. Are you talking about the chart in a like a med format? Like right now, it's on a MAR. Right. They're going to chart on the MAR, and it's going to keep track of who charted and when they charted. Right. Mm -hmm. And then generally, when they do, do the progress note, don't you put like took meds or didn't take meds? Is that what you're talking about? Right. Yes. Yeah. Right. 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 So, so do if if we don't have to have them chart again that I provided medications. We can leave this as an exclude from services, okay? Mm -hmm. But still, we're going to have we're going to have monitor. I'm going to change this one because this is now medications. We're building a new one, and we're going to say no, yeah, um, we'll provided. Right, no, I'm just going to say medication um, administration and monitoring. Yeah, you know, Mary, that really goes to the question of licensing. I, yeah. I'm not sure they need to chart that. I could check it out. I would, you know, would be charted if they refuse their meds or if they didn't take a med. That's good. But they, That's gonna be it charted. Out, click, you're gonna click if they refuse it or if they I'm just saying for this area. Go to the market yeah, I understand that. I understand that. Yeah. I'm not sure if regulations require us to do it in two places. I don't think they. I'm telling you, they don't. If you're okay. telling, if you're saying they don't, then I don't think we need to have it in there. We don't need to. Well, we need well, to have not, we it here need to. for this. We need to have it here for this. No, purpose. we need to. We just redo it, Jamie. We need. I'm sorry. Can you we hang on a second? What? what? Just one minute. Just we're checking for just uh, checking for two. We can do whatever times, you want. Two different place. Yeah. Like for example, just we jump for this one, yeah. and then we jump for this one too. That's what they need to say. We'll, we'll leave it here. Okay. Right. Okay, so we're going to say uh, instructions will she be to administer. What is it? This one? Um, That's the um, and That's the uh, charge on all scheduled meals. Yeah. Okay. 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 are all her mental health diagnosis, so. Does <clears throat> staff monitor her? I wouldn't say at this point they do. I would say it's more on, on me. Yeah. Okay. So, no. Okay. Any treatments that they have to do, like physical therapy? No. Uh, no, just the husband. Any, any goals? 
that we want to record. In the future. In the future, maybe. Yeah. So with, with that goal question, does that relate to, um, there's another area in there about like the mental health goals and did you get a treatment plan and are those connected at all? I just put it in there because it was on your list. Okay. I remember yesterday. So, so. That's what it was I on your list, so I put it in. Sometimes maybe some kind of... And it, it, it could. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay. Okay. All right. Um, the, and then housekeeping, we only did that one light. We just did that light housekeeping. Is there anything else that we need staff to chart on we have, that you uh, don't see on this list? We have laundry, but as needed. Pardon me? What, what is, is needed? Uh, laundry. 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 Yeah. I got it, I got it, I got it. Okay. As Thanks. needed. Right. She do most of the time. It's just as okay. needed. Okay, so we're going to put that in our light housekeeping area. Okay. Okay? Because that's kind of where, where it fits in, I think. Housekeeping. So I'm going to make a copy. Okay, come on. There it is. My system's being a little pokey. Okay, so I'm going to leave that in housekeeping. I'm going to make it laundry. Didn't I have a laundry? You guys, didn't I do a laundry? No. I guess I didn't. <laughs> Fine. All right, and in the laundry it's going to say collect, wash, dry, fold, and put away personal, or, or laundry and linens, put away um, personal items, and um, linens, do they make their, is this part of making the bed? No. Okay, are we going to have another bed laundry? She makes her, makes her own bed, doesn't she? Yeah. She makes but what about, oh, okay. So you're just going to give her the sheets and she'll put the, her sheets on herself? Yeah, if she needs help, yeah. But sometimes she's doing herself. Yeah, most of them she do herself, so. As, as she needs. Okay, <coughs> remember, this is just, this really isn't for her. I'm making this just generic. And I'm going to go laundry services provided. Okay, and I'm going to save this, and I'm going to save this. All right. Okay, so now we're good. Does that get saved? All right, we're going to go to her now. So I just fixed this into your company library because. Well, we want to make this. Now we're going to do her. All right. So we're going to go to her client information and program. I don't think she has one. And I'm going to ask you some of these same questions. Sorry. And we're doing Catherine, right? Wait. Mm -hmm. I have a good memory. It's really short. Okay. Yeah, I went, is there, is there, was there a category in there, like a general category for like monthly vital signs where they do their height and weight and their blood pressure? There, there, it was already in there, I didn't point it out. Okay. But we're going to do it now. Okay. We're doing Catherine? Yeah. Okay, good. <laughs> oh, you guys. All right. So, I'm going to go to her client library. She's got only white tape. Weight and height here right now, so I'm going to click Add New from Library. Mm. All right, we're going to do Vitals. Are we going to track her BMs? No. She doesn't have any braces. She doesn't have a hearing aid. She doesn't yeah, have she has a hearing aid. aids. Yeah, bilateral hearing oh. aids. Hearing aids, good. Um, tits? No. No clothing. No oral care. She has dentures. But she's oh. in, she's independent with her dentures. Okay, well then let's put oral care on there because we need to say something about that okay. on her care plan. Okay. Hair care, in, nothing here. No. Bathing, when does she take her baths? No. 
We're gonna get. We're gonna answer that in a minute. Okay. Do you provide nail, nail care and foot care? No. Skin care? No. We're gonna do light housekeeping. Um, no one. She's continent. No assistance required. No. Mo she's mobile. No. Um, no. No assistance. No, no assistance. No. no. None of these things. No. So, I, so we're going to do that, though. We don't need to do any of those others. She's continent. Yes. See, what happened to that one? I thought I had one. I thought you did, too. But we'll find it in a minute. <laughs> um, <laughs> let's see. We don't need... Med admin, we're going to do. Laundry, we're going to do. I thought I had a continent one. Mm -hmm. Oh, just I had a continent reminders needed. We'll fix that one. Okay. So now I'm going to approve this. To his grand so I've now built her Labor. care plan, basically. Okay? Except for this mm -hmm. toileting, I'm going to get rid of... Oh, I already did it. There. It was already there. Never mind. See, toileting? I'm going to get rid of this one because we don't need reminders. No. I already had it on there. Okay. So the next thing we're going to do is if we need to customize this, we would go into each one of these and make them unique to her. Okay. Okay. But now what we're going to do is we're going to do some scheduling of these things. So dressing, we don't have to, the, some of the items we don't have to schedule because she doesn't need any assistance. But bathing, so I'm going to select bathing here. Well, actually, I'm going to go back. Sorry. Tell me, when does she take her bath? We don't, she's independent with that. She doesn't need Okay. Help. Watch this then. I'm going to click edit. And we should have an uh, independent bathing in our... So, so we could say exclude and we could say bathing independent. Yeah. No services needed. No individual services needed. So you're not going to keep track of the days of the week that she does that? It's not a problem. Okay. I'm going to just say that. And I notice that I put this exclude from progress reports on there now. Get rid of this one. We'll get to something that we have to schedule. So her hearing aid, do they manage her hearing aid? Yes, I think she does. No, she's yeah. she's independent. Yeah, yeah. she yeah. Okay, so then then some of these items, what we're gonna do is we just need to get this on our care plan. Right. Okay. So I'm just gonna do this, and I'm gonna say hearing aid independent. Yeah. And I'm gonna save it. So she knows when to put them on and off. At the night. Yeah. Okay. So or okay. So you guys can fix that. I just want to get to one that yep. I have to schedule. Okay, so light housekeeping and med administration. I'm going to go to light housekeeping. All right, so I'm going to go to the scheduling area right here. Did you first click that? Did you click that? I clicked this. I think you want too fast. Let's see. <laughs> okay, so you I'm sorry. The X, the red you X say mobile, just <laughs> click this one. Click this one. I'm going to go to light housekeeping. Oh, okay. And I'm going to say it's going to be scheduled. And as needed, so I'm going to select both. So this is when the task is done, not when the yeah. charting is done. Yeah. Well, actually, it's when the charting is due. Okay. So, okay, so it's more so about the charting. Okay. Yep. So typically, like housekeeping, you're going to say that you want them to chart at the end of the shift. They should be doing it during the shift. Right, right. But by the end of the shift, we want to know that they did it and add any notes that they need to add. Right, right, right. So I usually tell people, have them chart a half an hour before the end of the shift. Okay, well, they, you guys can adjust the times, right? Yeah. You know when the shift so <laughs> But I'm just going to pick 6 a.m. because we got to put, I want to put something in here so you can see it. Sure. And 5 p.m. and... 10 p.m. So then on the actual task on that list you're on before, you would just go to the edit button if you want to change the time. Is that right? 
if you want, in, in a text format, like instructions, but this is what's going to create that charting page. Sure. Okay. Meals. We want them to chart that they did that three times a day. And the two snacks. So if the meals are, if the breakfast is at 8 a.m. and lunch is at noon, and supper's at um, 6, I'm going to insert that. And if we don't need to keep track of those snacks, let's not make a staff chart on it. Um, and so we've got light housekeeping meals. If we want them to chart on MedAdmin, yeah. I'll select it. And if she, does she take, do they do med pass for her three times a day? Yeah, it's or twice a, a day? Three, three times. Three times. Eight, okay. four, four, four PM. times. She, she did like four times. No, three, three, three times. Three. Four PM, sorry. She doesn't have no. Four. four she has four PM. Four PM at that time, and no noon. And then bedtime? Yep. yep. And insert the record. So then for her, you, if you get the idea here, then what, this is what staff would see for her, which will be different than Mr. Wessels. Does this make sense? No. Nope. Makes sense. And it's pretty quick. Once you get that company library built, it goes quick. But it's getting that company library built. That's the mode is really quick. It takes yeah. It takes some thought. See, she knows. You know, you know how to net. So Mona, we have a staff person here who's used this before for another company. Oh, okay. So you'd be comfortable navigating this. Yes. I don't know how to add it, but I know how to do it. I'll no, it's me too. I'm just going to go in. Creative, you know? yeah. That's why it's going to be for something. I think, yeah, we're to do it. When you get ready to work on these some more, but I think the, the best thing for you to learn to do this mm -hmm. is to go roll up your sleeves and do a couple. Yeah. But don't so go any done. further than let's finish Mr. Wessel and okay. Catherine. Okay. Don't go. <laughs> okay. You mean, are you saying don't do any other person? Don't do any other clients until we know that we have these two people the way we want them. Okay, mm -hmm. but for my part as the nurse, can I go in and just do the diagnosing and the medication yes. part so that's done? Oh, please. Yes. And you can start doing these progress notes. And mm -hmm. I now I ignored you again, Marsha. I apologize. I, I'm used to it, Nuria. That's okay. Uh, okay. uh, the poor nurse, just kidding. The poor nurse. <laughs> the poor okay. nurse, yeah. The poor nurse. Okay. Okay, I'm going back to Catherine. Okay. And we're going to talk now on medical services. Okay. So remember when I tapped her on the forehead? Uh huh. I'm going to click um, these two pills here. Uh huh. Because we saw on her client library that she had some medical services that we needed to schedule. So in it, the medications we're going to pull in from Jericho, but these medical services, these are what I changed right here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Now we need, we have her weight and height already. No, her, her weight and height. Mm -hmm. We have it in her client library, but now we're going to schedule it. When do you do weights? Once a month, end of the month. Maybe. At the end of the month? Are you yeah. doing the beginning of the month? Maybe. Well, let's put it at the beginning of the month. That would make sense. <coughs> okay. All right. I'm going to make it a both because somebody might be sick and you have to take their weight. Yep. Yeah. So I'm going to say on March 15, 1997. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, by 9 p.m., because that way they'll have all day to do it. By 9.27 p.m., because I'm lazy, Okay. I want height and weight to, wait, I'm going to, I want height and weight to be done. Can we edit that? Don't have to, right. They're just doing it, weight. Well, They're just doing weight. We're not doing I understand. I understand. If, it, if this is a standard one, and the reason we have this is it updates the client profile, mm -hmm. they only have to put in the weight. Okay. Height is totally optional. Okay. Okay, so, okay. so we're going to schedule this, mm -hmm. and I'm going to say, this is a new concept for you. I'm going to say other time. 
I'm going to say every month. So it's going to go on the first of the month from now on. And it's going to be by, I'm going to say by 9 p.m. I want you to have done that weight. So the other time is just because you deviated from the time listed? What's the other? other time? Maybe maybe during the month, maybe she develops congestive heart failure. Oh, so another time would just Suddenly. be the both part of it. Yeah. Yeah, the okay. PRM. Okay. Yep. Okay. Okay. Oh, other time, that just means that it's not every day. Okay. Uh, other time okay. means any of these options. I get it. I'm sorry. I'm a little slow. That's so I'm right. going to insert weight and height. And now when do we do vitals? And again, I'm going to say full. Vitals. Do we do vitals monthly too, just because? Monthly on the PRN too. Yes, monthly on PRN. So I'm gonna, again, I'm going to make it the, might as well do it when we're doing the weight, the, yeah. the weights. Yeah. And I'm going to make that, that's fine. And I'm going to make this other time. And I'm going to yeah. say monthly. And by 9 p.m. and it's going to be on the first of the month. Okay. And they can do it at six in the morning if they wanted to. I'm going to insert the record. It's fine. Okay. So now, if I go to her medication page, I'm going to show you what this. Now we're going to. I didn't. I never asked if you liked what I set up. So. Oh, I don't have anything scheduled for her until, duh, March 1st. So on March 1st, we're going to see these, vitals and weight height. Plus, if I wanted to do them sooner than then, I could. But this is when they're going to start showing up for good. Okay? So that, you, you kind of looked like on the calendar to search to see what was in there, but on the home health aid uh, caregiver charting side, that would show up automatically when they would Automatically, in. yeah, automatically okay. starting on the 1st okay. of March. Okay. I should probably, yeah, okay. okay. So, for them, to, when they click vitals, mm -hmm. tell me if you like what I did, because I can change, we can change it, I'll show you how. You can build your own. Um, systolic, mm -hmm. diastolic, mm -hmm. pulse, those three are required. Okay. Temperature and SAO2 are optional. Yeah, they went through that. Yeah. And if you don't even want SAO2 on there, we can take it off. So they have to do these because yeah. of, see the little three stars? Yep. yep. Are we good? That's good. And once they start doing this, the system's going to show them the last five records up here. Good. So they can keep track of stuff. Yeah, good. So. And then you can run a medical services report that will show these records for as far back as you want to go. So if you're going to a doctor's appointment sure. and you're doing daily yeah. weights yeah. Yeah. or yeah. blood sugars, yeah. you can take them along. Good, cool. All right, I'm going to close that one. Where do you, so where we do you, don't have to Mary, where do you get that record you're just talking about? I'm going to show you in a second. Okay. And then here's weight and height. Okay. Well, I'll tell you, it's in the company library. Okay. So weight is required. Mm -hmm. And here's height. Okay. Okay, optional. If you don't like this. I think it's pretty clear cut. I don't know. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Uh, yeah, I don't see why you wouldn't like it. Yeah. I've had some people say I want the SAO2 off, but. Oh. Uh, just, and then they call, yeah. they call me back and put it back on. Yeah. So, Let's um, it's the <coughs> directory, yeah. administrative, CP, administrative, company library, and they're right down here. Okay. And I made one for blood glucose. I didn't know if you had any diabetics. We have, yeah, one client, but he do himself. It's himself. Okay. Well, if you're doing blood sugar monitoring, I, I need you one for blood sugar. It's in there. That's okay. Okay. And, and we can add more. So let's say you're doing physical therapy with somebody and you're supposed to do so many arm stretches per day. For example, you can build a service that helps you keep, did you do the right arm today? Did you do the left arm today? Sure. You know, 
Does that make sense? Yeah. Okay. All right, well, your homework is going to be to complete Mr. Wessel. <laughs> my no, advice I have other to jobs. you <laughs> when you do it, that's when you run if you don't do it, you run now oh, come on because you, you know I don't know Mr. Wessel so I can't do it somebody who knows him has to do this <laughs> <laughs> so and the way so I you do it for the care plan and, and Justin that's what you do but you I would finish it. I would finish one person and make sure that you have everything the way you want it and then go to the next person. Yeah, Otherwise, we're going to have to fix things in a yeah. whole bunch of places. Yeah, and if I'm, not, I'm not going to be happy and if I'm not happy, you guys aren't going to be happy. So you're talking about completing the care plan. For Mr. Wessel right. and completing the charting page so that all of his medications, like all of his medical mm -hmm. services, and all of his ADLs are the way you want it. So. <coughs> then it'll go, I can it'll go so, once you'll struggle with him, and everything else will just get poofed, done. Okay. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And, I, and I, we got a good start on Mr. Wessel. Okay. Mm -hmm. So to finish him, I would go through this and see, okay, is everything that I'm going to need to copy to him here? Mm -hmm. And if it's all here and it's written the way you want it to, then go to him. Mr. Wessel, Richard. Go to his client library. And anything that's not already here, approve from the company library. I just didn't want to put the walker and the cane in case you wanted to add more information about that. And so if it's not in that list, like three screens back, and you have to create... You need to, yeah, go you ahead. Need to add it. You need to add it. If it's not on that company library, task yeah. directory, yeah. administrative, then you need to add it, and then once it's been added, you can add, then you, all you have to do is click click here, and you can add it to any client you want. Okay, where's the add button? <laughs> to add mm -hmm. That right one here. right there? So, it's, so, yep, and it's nice because you can, you can select everything if you want, and then just deselect what you're not using, or you can just select the items that you will be using. Okay. And then just click approve, and it's going to show up. up right in this section mm -hmm. and then you can customize it for this person so you just go in and edit yep edit okay. and customize okay. it but a word to the wise the more complete you have this the better and it's real easy to erase things so if you had this you know with lots of verbiage on it and it's and you copied it onto somebody and they didn't need one of those paragraphs, mm -hmm. it's really easy to erase it instead of having to type it over and over again. Instead of creating a new one, we probably have, people have similar uh, needs, so right. and you don't have to rewrite it every time. You yeah. don't want to rewrite it all the time. Yeah, that makes sense. You have to save all the time. I'll want something here now, add a new. I want to yes. another thing here. Okay, what would you like to add? I've got about 10 more minutes. Yeah, I'm only, I'm only good for like five. <laughs> I need to go okay. eight. Okay. And besides that, you guys are How do you add a program here? That's what I was saying. You wanted okay. to see, okay. How do you add a program here? It's here. Okay, where? Okay. Yeah. Tell me yeah. what program you would like added. Category. Just come up with category. I think we've got all your categories. Okay. This is all the categories you provided. I put them all in. Okay. Okay, when, when we're doing the uh charting how often we do it like as often as you want charting isn't it supposed to be once a shift yeah once yeah i, I would say what well you can so every time you do you have to say saving or it, it, go, it must save. saving no you have to save okay 
You yeah. say it every time you every turn. Time. So okay. I wanna, yeah. 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 We'll just do this. I'm going to go to schedule direct care, and we're going to go back to Mr. Wessel, and I'm going to check on it. We can take it out. Oh, okay. Like, no, no. Don't go back. I think we got it. <laughs> I just ask you, because okay. Okay. sometimes, you know, if you, if you forget, maybe everything is going to be oh. not there. So <laughs> you make sure yeah, that's it. Yeah, you're doing good. Yeah. You're doing better than I would be doing. Because this is a lot. This is like drinking from a fire hose, I think. It wow. is really a lot to take in. Fire hose? I'm not sure if they That's bad. Uh, pray for a fire hose. <laughs> <laughs> then you need okay, to come well, over then. <laughs> yeah. If, I, I if, if, a if there's a lot here. I think, um... If there's a lot then maybe you come and do the dressing. Uh, well, what do you record for it? the nurse to be? Yeah. Um, well, I don't think it would happen, but I'll ask you. Mary? Yeah. One quick question. Um, John was asking if you had a client that had um, like some type of a skin compromise. So it's generally something the nurse is going to do, not the home health aide. Right. So would that just go in your nursing? Could you do a nursing treatment or some yes. places? So, so what you can do is I, I've got I've seen this before. So we, I did these. We could we could create one called yeah. skincare. Okay. Okay. So in our company library, this is, and you're going to get what you wanted. So I'm going to go here, oh. and this is a little bit different. I'm going to create a new one. Oh, you're right. I just was copying all the time. I'm going to create one from scratch. So this is a medical service. Mm -hmm. Yep. And we we can create um, two kinds of medical services. We call it medical. Regular medical is what staff sees. Mm -hmm. We can we can segregate those services and make them strictly for skilled nursing. Okay. So we can turn that on. I don't have it turned on, but I'm going to just create one here. That's just regular nursing, okay? And this nursing is going to be um, skin. What do you want to call it? Okay. Wound care. Yeah. Sure. Skin wound. Or they say wound integrity. Like for example, the okay. sometimes they have the wounded in. We can make it anything we want. Okay. That's what's the nice thing. How do you spell integrity? I N T E G R I. I think maybe. Yes, you are correct. Thank you. Welcome. So, what is the instructions to the direct care staff or to the person who's doing this? Well, it's probably daily monitoring. Um, Changing the bandage, yeah. maybe? Yeah. Or, I don't know. Cleaning? Monitor maybe yeah. three times a day, change the dressing. Nothing. Yeah, I mean, generally speaking, with wound care, it would probably be a nurse that yeah. does it. <laughs> but, any, okay, so you get the idea, you're going to have instructions, and then down here, dressing. we could have we could have color of wound. Is there any discharge, yes or no? Mm -hmm. um, what color is the discharge? We can ask all these kinds of questions. Okay. Did you need to re-bandage it? Did you apply antibiotic? Sure. Yeah. Okay. And then you'll save it. So do you want to do what, should we do one here like you want, like you need, or are we good? We're fine. No, we don't need it. Okay. Right. Okay. Okay. So, for Richard, somebody would should please import all of his medications. One. Two, for Richard, somebody should complete his care plan. <coughs> and the way they're going to complete Richard's care plan mm -hmm. will be to go to his client library, add in all of the text. Well, copy in anything from the company library that's missing. And the way you do that is you click Add New from Library. Any pro, any services that we want to include on his care plan, we're going to select. If we need to customize them, we should do that by clicking Edit. Once that's done, we can produce a plan of care, number one. And you, I just clicked plan of care and then I found plan of care here and there it is. So that's got those changes that we've made, right? 
You can print this off. Okay. Then we will schedule it. And it, to schedule it, we click his picture. We got Catherine going here. Sorry. Let's go to Richard. Don't do. Don't put Richard's stuff on Catherine. So we'll be mad. Client library, and I'm going to schedule those items. This is when we're going to do the charting. So all I got is meals. Do we need to put snacks on there? No. Do they, they don't need to chart on the snacks, do they? No. I'm going to get rid of it then. So we, we can just have that as a care plan item. Yeah. So we don't have to. Yeah. Okay. So there we go. It's gone. Let's see. Not required. Independent. I'm going to just make that be independent. Just continue the snacking part. Best part of the day. Okay. So we have bathing, light housekeeping, help prep. We monitor his food and beverage intake because that's what it said. And anything, you're going to be able to schedule anything else, which we don't need here. Oh, we don't need to um, do resident information either. That's just a care plan item. That's not on there now. That like devil cares you're talking about. That's what he sees. Well, that can be added. So you're gonna add this. So are we good? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Then I'm gonna say we're done. <coughs> you're gonna do your Richard homework. Can we meet again on Monday? Monday. This Monday? Oh, no. Oh, come on, guys. <laughs> I'm part-time here, and I have another job. I'm not, and I I have to do the meds. I'm not going to get them done by well, Monday. Wednesday. Okay. Yeah. I'm not. Wednesday? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, let's get Richard done by Wednesday. And what time Wednesday? Somebody, mm. let's do, how about noon? That works noon. for me. Yeah. So, we're going to divide and conquer. Sure. Medications belong to Marsha. Mm-hmm. And I, I, who's and everything else belongs to Hawa. <laughs> With home from Mona, if I Mona. <laughs> Mona. Mona is done this before. You're going to finish up the ADL. Yes. Okay. The organ. And that would be just wonderful. It would be great. We're all excited. Okay. Next Wednesday at noon, I'll see ya. Wednesday at noon. Bye. Have a good weekend. Okay, bye bye. Thank, thank, thank you. you. Thanks for the homework. Wow. <laughs> but this system is good, yeah. Thanks. Yeah. It will make so, a lot of these, but the problem is learning it. Yeah. But so, once it gets easy. Oh, yeah. So once it's all in there, it'll be easy. Mm -hmm. It'll be, and it'll be clear, and you won't have to worry about things will get, you know, everything will be done the right. I mean, because it'll prompt you. But we already have it, the rest of the stuff. We already have the medication. You already have what? what?